Hello everyone, this is Gerald and welcome to Gadgets of Infinity. Today we're going to unbox and review this Lenovo IdeaPad 5. laptop na to uh, para sa pagbablog ko kasi nahirapan akong gamitin yung desktop ko uh, pag gusto kong kunyari pumunta dun sa ibang lo ibang area para mag-edit ng videos ng vlogs ko so ito magagamit ko talaga siya bago lang ako sa pagbablog mga 1 month pa lang ako and so far na enjoy ko naman kaya support nyo ako guys by subscribing to my channel para mas marami pa akong ma-share sa inyo na product un unboxing product reviews product recommendations Para sa mga aspiring YouTubers na katulad ko na naghahanap ng affordable and magandang performance na laptop, panoorin mo itong video na to para makita mo kung approve ba sa'yo or hindi. Alright, let's see what's inside the box. We have here a power adapter. It's a uh, 65 watts round tip wall mount power adapter next is the idea pad 5 we have here the setup guide manual the safety and warranty guide and the idea 5 laptop okay punta naman tayo sa systems configuration ng laptop na to and let's start with the display size it's a 15.6 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution and IPS type na siya or in-plane switching monitor. Ano ba ang advantages ng IPS display panel? Maganda ito kasi mas mabilis ang response time, mas wider yung viewing angles, better color and contrast than many VA and TN panels, and outstanding ang color accuracy and screen consistency nito. Next naman natin is the processor. Itong sa akin kasi is 11th gen Intel Core i5. Pero meron itong configuration na Core i3 and Core i7. Meron din option to choose AMD Ryzen 5. Or Ryzen 5. It's up to you kung ano yung need mo. Pero itong Core i5 okay na okay na to eh. For vlogging, for office use, or for school use. Yung RAM naman ito is a soldered 16GB DDR4. Ibig sabihin ng soldered is fixed na siya, hindi mo na ma-upgrade. Pero 16GB na yan eh, powerful na yan. Sa storage, it's a 512GB PCIe solid state drive and yung graphics is, it's NVIDIA MX450. So that is the main systems configuration of the Lenovo Idea Pad 5. Additional specs would be, etong sa audio part naman, meron siya sa harap na speakers, Dolby Audio na. It supports Bluetooth 5.1 and Wi-Fi 6 enabled na din. Supported niya na yung latest Wi-Fi technology which is 802.11ax. Sa battery naman, hindi na siya detachable and can last up to 17 hours. Meron na ding rapid charge boost feature. Ibig sabihin ng rapid charge technology ni Lenovo is kaya niyang i-charge yung battery ng laptop mo ng 80% in just 30 minutes. At hindi naman siya ganun kabigatan, it's it's 1.66 kilograms lang yung ano yung timbang nito. So napakaganda ng uh, pagkaka-configure ng ng laptop. So dito naman tayo sa IO ports or input output ports ng laptop. So on the right side, we will see here itong Novo button. Ginagamit ito para start yung Lenovo One Key Recover if ever mag-fail yung laptop to boot normally. Meron ding SD card reader since majority gumagamit na ng DSLR eh. So, pwede nyong direct na ikabit dyan yung SD cards nyo. May dalawang USB-A ports na, both 3.2 Gen 1. 
Sa kaliwa naman, we have headphone or mic combo port, HDMI port, USB Type-C na 3.2 Gen 1 port na may power na din. So, pwede mong i-charge yung laptop na to using a power bank na Type-C port din. Basta make sure na yung power bank na gagamitin mo supports laptop charging. Meron kaming binibenta na Yubo PD65W na model. It's a 30,000 mAh na power bank for laptop uh, na power bank siya. I'll provide the link of this power bank sa description portion ng video. And lastly is the power input. Ngayon naman, tignan natin yung physical appearance and design. Actually, kaya ito yung binili ko kasi nagaganda na ako sa design eh. And yung color niya, common na kasi yung black. Ang color nito is platinum gray. Meron ding ibang colors, color options depende sa region. So, meron itong granite black, light teal, and abyss blue color. Ayan yung top portion. Ang ganda. Very neat. Tignan. Even yung mga edges niya, ang ganda ng pagkakadesign eh. At yung sa bottom part naman, makikita natin yung ventilation. So, yung design and color niya is one of the deciding factor kung bakit pinili ko ito. Tignan naman natin yung security features ng Lenovo Idea 5.5. It's equipped with a privacy shutter to block the camera when you don't want to be seen. Ang isa pang gusto ko dito ay meron siyang fingerprint reader on the power button kaya madaling mag-log in. Check din natin yung volume. Regarding naman sa volume, para sa akin malakas na siya eh. eh pero ito paririnig ko siya sa inyo. We're now at the last part of this review. I-check naman natin yung speed and performance niya. Sa pag-boot, napakabilis lang. In less than 5 seconds, nasa login page na ako. At gaya nga ng sinabi ko, binili ko siya for vlogging. Editing na mga videos uh, na ginagawa ko. So, mahigit 1 week na siya sa akin, itong laptop. Kaya, natest ko naman mabuti. I'm, sh I'm using Filmora X, by the way. Uh, and so far, very smooth naman siya. Walang lag and freezing na nangyari. Kaya I highly recommend this to my fellow YouTubers. Pwedeng-pwede din for the office use and student use. Let's conclude this review. So far, para sa akin, okay na okay itong Lenovo Idea 5 in terms of design, sound, color, yung security features niya, and yung speed and performance. Suabe. Amazing talaga. Alam ko yung nasa isip mo eh kung magkano. So, binili ko to for 49,990 sa Lenovo Robinsons Manila. Guys, thank you so much for staying and for watching this video. Na-appreciate ko talaga. If you want more unboxing, product reviews, and product recommendations, mag-subscribe ka na sa channel ko. And that would be all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.